Some of the inch-based rulers, as in measuring instruments, or rules, tape measures and such, come marked in 30 seconds of an inch. Some of them are clearly marked, like this model here, that the, uh, from zero to one inch, there are 32 parts to the whole inch, it's marked 130 seconds of an inch, and from one inch after, everything is 16 parts to the inch. But this one just says inch on it, so you have to count the pieces, there will be 16 of them that make the whole, so each part is a sixteenth of an inch, and this ruler here says 30 seconds on it. I know it's a little bit shiny, but you can still see that some of these lines on it are marked with numbers 20, 24, 28, and if you keep counting, 32 pieces will make an inch, so henceforth each part will be a 30 second of an inch. Either which way, we're talking about fractions, okay? I have some slides here on this view here. You can see the slides. Okay. This is how you read these ones. Because first, to use these, you have to locate the fractions on it. Like I said, it's full of fractions, but there's nothing in print. Super simple. Starting at the zero here, this will be your first line, and that's because every increment here is one thirty second of an inch. That's one thirty seconds. That's a second line, so that's two thirty seconds, three thirty seconds, four thirty seconds, five thirty seconds, six thirty seconds, seven thirty seconds, eight thirty seconds. You get the idea. 9, 30 seconds, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 30 seconds. I'm going to write it from this side here. You know, every line is 1 30 second of an inch. 17, 18, 19, 20, 30 seconds. 21, 22, 23, 24, 30 seconds, oops, that's a little off, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 30 seconds, I'm going to write up and down here, 31, oops, uh oh, 31, that's even worse, alright, 31, 30 seconds, sorry, and here is one inch, full inches, 32, 30 seconds. Super straightforward. So far so good. Now, some of these fractions that you see have an even numerator. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, every second one. Not surprisingly. So, the ones with the odd, sorry, the ones with the even numerators have are not in lowest terms, they have equivalent fractions to make them into lowest terms. For example, this one here, 8, 30 seconds. Well, 8 is an even number and 8 is divisible by 2. That means we can reduce 8, 30 seconds by at least a, frac uh, a factor of 2. So that gives us a fraction of 4 over 16, now 4 is also an even number, we can reduce the whole thing by another factor of 2, so we get 2 over 8, what are the equivalent fractions, 2 over 8, and that's going to be 1 over 4 when we reduce it yet again with, uh, by a factor of 2, so 8 30 seconds is the same as a quarter inch. Now, to read this ruler, you can you, you have you can go two ways about it. You either memorize the all of the equivalent fractions on it, so you know where to locate them, or you're gonna have to count the 30 seconds one by one at every measurement and make equivalent fractions fraction of the final measurement. I, I'll show you. I'll show you both ways. Okay. So because nobody says 8 30 seconds of an inch, everybody says a quarter of an inch. Fractions in their lowest terms. 
So, this is a paper clip under the ruler. The wire, the paper clip is made of, has a thickness of exactly one thirty second of an inch. You start at zero here, and it's one jump, one increment. That's one thirty second of an inch for the wire diameter. To measure the whole width of the finished product, you can do the same thing. Start at zero, count every 30 seconds, count the increments. That's one jump, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine jumps is nine 30 seconds of an inch. End of story. The width of the paper clip is nine 30 seconds of an inch. So that's, that's one way to measure, that's easy. Now, especially if you have nine that's in the numerator position because it's an odd number, so it, this fraction is at its lowest terms. There's no equivalent fractions, it's done. That's the final answer, nine thirty seconds. Going back one slide, if the numerator is odd, sorry, if the numerator is even, you can see that uh, we have equivalent fractions. You can also see that the 30 seconds have the numerators 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. These are the numerators that don't get reduced. You can also see, I'll show you another pattern, of line length. Here I just rotated the metal ruler uh, edge to edge to the plastic ruler. And so this is the zero line, and, and that's the that's the one inch line. But but this rule is upside down. So on this one, this is actually four inch, and that's five inch there in the corner. So but you can read this upside down. You can, you can read this back and forth. It doesn't matter. <coughs> Sorry. This kind of ruler helps you a little bit with counting the thirty seconds of an inch. If a measurement is taken and you want to determine the length of this arrow, not this one, sorry, I'll get you another one, the length of this arrow, there, then uh, you can see that uh, starting from here, you can see that you have 8 30 seconds so far, plus one more, this is going to be the ninth, there's 9 30 seconds of an inch. So it's just for easier reading. If you want to determine the length of this arrow, you can see that 24 30 seconds is there, so one before it will be 23 30 seconds. And just last, lastly, with this one, if the length of the arrow is uh, there, that long, you can see that's 10 30 seconds right away because that's 8, that's 10. I'm just counting by twos, you know, like 2, 4, 6, yeah, 8, 10 30 seconds here. So you can have a direct reading, it's easier to read, but it doesn't help you with the equivalent fractions. Out of the reading, 10 30 seconds, you're gonna have to make an equivalent, you have to reduce it, make an equivalent fraction to lowest terms. By reducing by a factor of two, this is going to be five sixteenths. So, let me just walk back here. The other way to go about measurements, if you don't want to be counting everything one by one, and and then making one equivalent fraction, you can of course just memorize the fractions on the tape measure that I wrote up here. You can see in red the same 30 seconds with odd numerators. The blue lines are replaced here which was 2 30 seconds, 4 30 seconds, 6 30 seconds. That's replaced by 1 16th, 3 16th, 5 16th and so on. But between 1 16th and, two si and 3 16th there is also 2 16th, but 2 16th isn't the lowest terms either. It is 1 8th. So to count one thirty second by one thirty second, count up one at a time. This is how you go. The numbers are 
one thirty second, one sixteenth, three thirty seconds, one eighth, five thirty seconds, three sixteenth, seven thirty seconds, one quarter. You get the idea, okay? So, the uh, second way to go about measurements, you're gonna have to just memorize the fractions where they are located on the tape, okay? If I have a, that's another slide, if I have a line drawn, say, how about from here to here, you can just see that the line's length is 11 30 seconds. Now that works, but if you really want to, there, now you don't have numbers. If you memorize what the numbers are, you can just see where that one is. Uh, you're still going to have to count the jump lines one by one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or you can go, well, this is a quarter inch here. This is a quarter inch here. And a quarter inch is eight, 30 seconds. So you go nine, 10, 11. 11, 30 seconds. You know, just go to a major landmark and just add a couple of those little guys. If a line is, uh, say, from here, goes here you can just go half an inch is 16 30 seconds and this is 16 17 18 okay 18 30 seconds long uh, 18 30 seconds is a nice number but it's not in its lowest terms because 18 is an even number it is gonna be 9 16 so you're going to have to kind of use both of these measurements, both of these systems. You have to know where the fractions are located, but you also have to be really fluent and going with uh, making equivalent fractions in lowest terms. Lastly, I do want to point out that the line length on the ruler helps with reading, but doesn't help locating the fraction. So the, these lines with this length, those are the 30 seconds with odd numerators. So they are just directly reading, directly reading, but you still have to count them. You can count by twos. Well, yeah, like one, three, five, seven, nine, nine thirty seconds, something like that. You can also, uh, you can also go and count by twos. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 30 seconds, something like that. Okay, so those would be the two ways to go about using the number scales and the fractions and interacting with it. Just practice it, just whatever works best for your brain, just pick something.